So today I want you to listen to this Disney scenario. People start getting excited about product A. People start sharing product A. And of course, Big Bad Disney steps in and says, yeah, about product A, you need to stop that. That's our intellectual property. Seems like a bad decision, right? Well, apparently someone woke up from their glaucoma, said, hey, maybe I need to stop this and shut all of that down. What's more, when they're trying to spin this, they're trying to say, yeah, the internet may not ever forget, but it can certainly misremember. So hey there, so today I want to return to that wonderful world of trash fires. And this is the biggest trash fire on the planet. Star Wars by Disney and how they handle commerce and excitement going into the holiday season. Now before we get into the Baby Yoda gift ban and before we talk about wanting the internet to misremember, if you like this kind of content, you want to help an umbrella out, help us get our interactions up. That's basically subscribing, sharing videos, but also commenting, liking, just saying interaction. I mean, that's really all you have to throw out or anything that you want to, really. Also, a little bit more watch time. Anything in that definitely helps out. And again, thank you so much in advance. Also, we have a comic book. It ends at the end of Saturday. That's the end of November. And it is our message to these gatekeeper companies. They want to take over hobbies. They want to give them to other people. So what we do is we create viable alternatives. That's what we have to do. If you want to help us send that message to them, I would appreciate that. Just check that out there and see if it's for you. And thank you again in advance. So Baby Yoda gifts reinstated after Star Wars takedown confusion. Hmm. Now what they're trying to tell you in this kind of stuff and accompanying uh, items that come up is that we should be excited about this. You know, because Star Wars, because Disney is not to blame. Giphy is to blame. Now I want you to look at this scenario that's painted out in this article and you tell me who exactly did this. Because I've never heard of a company going out and pulling this kind of stuff, especially when you read everything here. So viral animated images Images of the new Star Wars character, nicknamed Baby Yoda, are back online after a brief ban. GIFs featuring the co-star of the Mandalorian TV series have been widely shared online, while many viewers declaring the small alien as being the best thing about the new Disney Plus show. But the animations disappeared late last week after Giphy, the platform used to make them, blocked the post. It said it was done so because of confusion about their legal status. Disney has faced criticism after news site The Vulture had reported that its own Baby Yoda post had been removed for copyright reasons, adding that Disney decided that gifts of this beautiful being should be taken down from the internet. Many fans subsequently complained on social media about U.S. media's giant supposed intervention, but Giphy went in and clarified that Disney wasn't to blame. So when you think about that, again, and you think about that scenario... Who exactly interacted there? Why would Giphy care about this stuff? They apologize here to Disney. They apologize to Vulture. But at the same time, going out and talking to BBC, hmm, they tell us, yeah, Disney's not to blame. Now, you think about why you would want to post something like that. Maybe, just maybe, it's because if you admitted to having this kind of issue or prompting a company with fear to basically take stuff like like that down, maybe you'd have some merchandising problems. Maybe you'd have some ticked off fans that think maybe you turned the right corner. Interesting how that happens, no? See, like I said, when I look at this stuff, it seems like the march of Disney. It seems like more of the same. And well, people going out and noting problems. Look at this stuff right here. Disney fans without answers after thousands hacked. Huh, so Disney, they don't actually listen to fans. Star Wars shows the Mandalorian is difficult to care about. Wait, what? You know, stuff like that that comes up. Now, the BBC asked Disney for comment. Variety has reported that the California-based firm intends to launch a wide range of tie-in merchandise for the character ahead of Christmas, so it likely benefit from viral status. Disney has also shared its own imagery of the character online. Now, remember, that way that they showed it, though, they can control that. Of course, they would want to control the merchandising aspect there. Because if you go out and say you have Baby Yoda, you know, with something
something he's not supposed to do, something that would include trigger warnings these days. Oh no, not just in time for that holiday season. Also remember that Hasbro has been panicking, and I mean absolutely panicking. I did a video about that, talking about going into this holiday season, thinking everything would be down. So again, I mean, when you think about all of that interaction there, of course they want to go with that. Now also, this goes on to say that there's been no legal precedent for gifts being forced off the net for copyright grounds. Experts suggest this would probably fall under fair use due to their transformative purpose, an exception made under intellectual property laws to allow the reuse of others' material for comedy or parody. Now you think about that. Again, there wouldn't be an issue here. So why exactly would Giphy do this? And why would this be something that they did to one product out there, but they haven't done for other products? Again, when you look at this whole scenario, it stinks of something. And what it stinks of is asking you to misremember. Again, the internet never forgets. But if you can convince it of a narrative, perhaps, just perhaps, it'll go in this holiday season and buy your baby Yoda stuff. Hmm. But anyway, you tell me what you think about this stuff. Maybe I got it all wrong to you. Maybe I'm just a monster conspiracy theorist. Maybe you can tell me within this in the comments. Also, thank you for uh, participating in this, you empower endeavors. I always want to end saying that because companies like this, they have forgotten that. They forget it all the time and they need to be reminded. You know, maybe they put out a good show here now, but for five years they have denigrated consumers and on. Is that what you want to crawl back? back to. For myself, I say no. I'll talk about their show here because it's part of this platform, but I'm not merchandising this thing. I'm not hooking my kids on it because they need that. And well, when they said that they don't need you, that's fine. When they said toxic fandom, that's fine. Never ever forget that. But anyway, like I said, I don't want to be like them, so I thank you for showing up, for participating, spending your time here. If you want to go and help us with our interactions, that's definitely uh, appreciated there. Also, our book, definitely appreciated. But you just being here, thank you. So anyway, I want to end this by saying thank you, appreciate you. We'll be doing this again soon. Thanks.